Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just want to update you guys with a video. Um, it's been a while because I was waiting for it today. Um, today was my appointment with Dr. Wagner um, at Sun Forest OBG. Um, and it was a follow up um, for the results, for her to read me the results to my vaginal ultrasound. Um, which looked um, at my ovaries, my uterus, my fallopian tubes. Um, basically, gonna, it was going to tell me like um, if my ovaries were good, you know, all that good stuff. So um, I went in and I told her a journey, like I told my husband, Adrian, in a nutshell, because um, meeting her again, I like to update people, even though, you know, it's already in the write up. I like to build relationships with people and I like to talk to them and you know just uh, let them see where we are as far as our journey and trying to conceive um, you know his end how it took a while um, for him to get the surgery for um, the vas vascular um, vascular veins um, Viracocy, that's what they're called, vascular. Um, Viracocy, um, varicose veins, that's what he had, which was a blockage for him um, that caused low sperm count. So, anyways, I told all that to her, um, and um, she assured me that a third um, of the problem in couples trying to conceive can be the man, a third time it can be the woman, and a third of the time it can be the woman. So um, she just wanted to assure me that um, you know we were making progress. That um, I know it can you know be all kinds of um, causes why we haven't got pregnant yet. But it's good that we were you know following up. Like she said, you know you're young. Well, you're young. You know we want to make a baby. So with that being said, on our journey to making a baby, because um, we know that it's gonna come. That God is good. I'm speaking that over my womb. That blessed is the fruit of my womb that I am going to conceive but until then until I make my video about how I conceived when and how I told Adrian I'm going to update you on what my journey is right now so right now um, I she showed me my ultrasound and um, what they did was vaginal ultrasound took a scope and went in and she showed me my cervix and my uterus and she said all that looked normal looked good um she said my uterus she asked me what day i was on my cycle when i got this done and i remembered it was day 12. she said that it was thickening up good um for implantation so all that looked normal um then she went on to the left ovary um, she had explained how there was like a clear cystic area right there, um, which is normal. Um, and that's like where the egg comes from. So um, she moved that aside and she said, um, you know, it looks longer. Um, and it was my fallopian tube. And she said it's hard to tell on ultrasound. Um, but that like raised a suspicion to her. She wasn't sure like if it was dilated. Um, my fallopian tube and what that's called is the hydrocell fix um, a dilated fallopian tube she said so to be sure um, she wanted to do the HSG test and I wrote it down here what the name okay it's the HSG test is short for hysterocell pingogram that's what it is so what it is um that big old word which everybody calls the hsg because why in god's name would they say a hystero cell pingogram every time they talked about it um so what it is is they take a dye and they spill it into your um uterus and it goes through your fallopian tubes onto your ovaries and so that's gonna tell them if there's any blockage where the blockage is and things like that so in the beginning like i had told you guys i think i did um that i didn't want to take it because it's so expensive um i actually bought some natural supplements to try to help um heal any scarring that was there there um if there was any because i didn't know yet because obviously I haven't got the test done um, but um, we're just we we prayed about it me and Adrian and um, I just was like I gotta get this done you know it's it's what it is and this is our next step and if we want to continue to be proactive and um, 
I feel like this is where God is leading us. So, um, you know, with that being said, I'm going to continue to take my natural supplements um, that I've been taking to unblock my fallopian tubes. Um, but also, um, we're going to get that done. So we're believing that my tubes are um, being open right now as we speak and that the HSD is going to help, you know, determine what our next step is. Um, so thank you for, you know, following up with us and for all your prayers. And I love making these videos because it's kind of personally impersonally. <laughs> is that is that a phrase? Like personally impersonal. Like I know everybody, you know, not everybody, but a lot of people, you know, watch these and um, my family, my friends, you know, you guys watch these and you guys stay updated with my videos, which I appreciate. Um, I appreciate your prayers. Um, and I just want to give God glory because he's good and he's faithful. He's faithful to the end and his time is perfect. Um, and I just can't wait to look back and see all that he's done. He's already done so much. He doesn't have to do anymore, but um, I know that his plan is perfect um, and I want you guys to be a part of that journey and I want my children to look back and say like wow like God is good you know um, and my mom you know didn't give up um, she you know did what she had to do and I'm here and I just speak that over them you know I I'm just um, taking care of myself um, I lost 20 pounds actually since I've last been to the doctors not the ultrasound but since I've last like talked to the doctor um, which is in December so I'm excited about that and I need to continue to um, lose weight because we all know that when you get pregnant you gain weight and I just want to be healthy I just want to be healthy for me and for my baby and um, you know I'm getting older so like she said um, you know, we want to get these babies coming, and by babies, I do mean more than one. So, um, whatever God has for us. Um, so yeah, um, she looked at my right ovary, and she said that's normal as well. Um, but then she's seen, um, just some, like she said, it could be mucus, it could be, you know, whatever it could be. Um, in the way and she said she won't be able to determine that unless she does the HSG test so normally um, you have to wait um, between like your day 6 and day 10 of your cycle um, and luckily I'm on day 5 so she said well we'll see what they have available I'll contact our um, scheduling a department scheduling person and we'll get back with you so I was like okay got some numbers from the office before I left um, and she's like, let's make a baby, like I said. And I was excited because she was so nice. And, and I know that this is a step in the direction that we're, we want to go and conceiving. And um, I got some information at the counter, um, billing information, because I wanted to know, um, you know, how much it was going to cost so I can contact our insurance. Because, like I said, that's the reason why I wasn't going to get it done before. But, um this is what God wants and God's going to provide. He always does. So, um, with that being said, um, we're just praying, waiting and, um, my appointment, um, they call me back. It's Tuesday. So I'm going to meet up with Dr. Lit, not at my OBG, not at my clinic at Toledo hospital. So it's going to be Tuesday at 1 30. Um, she recommended me to take Motrin or Tylenol um, an hour or half an hour before the um, surgery. She wants me to arrive um, at 1 so I can fill out information and things like that. Um, it's in the radiology department. Um, so yeah, uh, that's where we are. So let's see. Um, she also said that with the HSG um, testing that it can like clean out my pipes basically and that the chances increase um, with conceiving within the next three months after the test is done um, so we'll see what happens and I'll be back up here 
um, to update you guys back up here well back here to update you guys um, with what's going on with that appointment and my experience because I've seen a lot of people's experience were like not good they said it's like labor like when you're in labor so pray for me all because that fluid is not supposed to be in my uterus or my fallopian tubes but it's going in there so um, just continue to keep us in your prayers and thank you so much for um, following us for um, just praising God with us as while we wait um, because he's good and he gets all the glory and that's all so for now I'm signing off and I'll talk to you guys soon and God bless